Hello, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated, where you can buy a MacBook, sell a MacBook, ask me repair questions, all sorts of stuff. That is rdklinc.com. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to do a video today that will be relevant to about five people on the planet, uh, but to those five people, it might be kind of useful. Um, so the question is, what is the difference between the 2009 and 2010 versions of the A1342 white unibody MacBook? Um, these are the last plastic MacBooks, uh, I guess you could call them. Um, so there were two versions. The 2009 is a 2.26 gigahertz version and the 2010 is a 2.4 gigahertz version. And they look pretty much identical. So, uh, it gets a little tricky, especially when you're buying, you know, large quantities of these to know, uh, which one you're looking at. And uh, the answer is very simple. Um, you would think that you would be able to just look at the sticker like you can on most MacBooks, but unfortunately it doesn't say the speed. So the answer is, is very simple. Um, if you look right here, right above the hard drive, there are two connectors. There is a three pin connector and there is a two pin connector. Um, if, there, if the two pin connector is on the outside, this is a 2.26. A 2009. If the three pin connector is on the outside, it is a 2.4. So this is a 2.26. This one, as you can see here, the three pin connector is on the outside. So this is a 2.4. This is a 2010. So it's really that simple. Three pin connector on the outside, 2.4. Two pin connector on the outside, 2.26. Um, that's pretty much it. There are a couple uh, fairly insignificant differences. Um, so the, the uh, 2.26 will tend, not always, but will tend to have uh, holders here for four screws so that you can put in a hard drive that has, you know, four, this is the wrong hard drive, but four, uh, four screws in and the, the screws will, you know, you'll be able to mount that, that drive in there and then put the rail on the top using four screws. The 2.4 would more likely only have two screw holders and then, I'm not sure if you can see this, but kind of these gaps on the bottom. And then what you do is you take these guys, these rubber pieces, and you take a hard drive that only has two screws in it, and then you wrap these little rubber pieces around the corners. Well, one corner and then one in the middle and then you take this and you put it in there like that. So that's how that's mounted. But these things come out, the, the, the two and the 2.26, they come out and then you have the holes that will allow for the rubber pieces. So you're not stuck in either method. You can, uh, you can do one or the other interchangeably. So there's that. Um, the one other difference that I'm aware of is that uh, you've got the mini display port here. Um, they use different versions of HDMI, I think is the way to say it. Um, the sound, X, the HD, if you convert the mini display port to HDMI, the 2.26 will not export sound. So if you connect uh, the mini display port to HDMI and plug it into a TV, a 2.26 will not play sound through that TV. But the HDMI, I'm sorry, the mini display port on a 2.4 when exported to uh, HDMI will play sound on, uh, on a, a television or an external device. So 2.4 version just seems to have slightly, um, slightly better HDMI level that allows for, for sound. So that's it. I think there are some differences in the GPU as well. It doesn't really affect me because all I do is sell the things. Um, so what I wanted to give here was just a, sort of like a hardware level nuts and bolts uh, explanation of the differences and uh, hopefully that helps. These machines are still um, pretty useful. Um, they're old but they still take High Sierra. Uh, they have pretty good GPUs and um, you know it's, it's getting to the point where they're a hundred dollar machine. Um, but for $100, you really can't do better to have High Sierra. Uh, you can put 8 gigs of RAM in these and an SSD, and it's still a really nice little 
low cost uh, laptop for basic functions. So for people who aren't power users, these are still great machines and they're coming through the recyclers uh, you know, by the thousands sometimes. So uh, it'll be a very important machine, I think for the next year or two before it's no longer viable to refurbish. So anyway, thanks again. Uh, talk to you soon.